hey guys good evening welcome back to my channel it's your girl Bridgie how you guys doing thank you very much for joining me today if this is your first time this is a where you go TV and what we generally do here is talk about issues that affect Africans who live in the diaspora thank you please subscribe and if you hit on the bell sign you get a notification whenever I post my videos so I saw this very very disturbing video today I was a bit hesitant if I should you know post it or make a commentary about it but i decided to go ahead with it because sometimes life can be very very unpleasant life is not always sweet 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 and we all know as adults that we go through different stages in life and things happen so if a few days ago i was reflecting by myself in my house and i was just reflecting that you know what a lot of Africans who live in diaspora, 99.9% .9 of Afri Africans who live in diaspora think that the thought of going back to Africa is something that is so scary to them. Like, they can't even think about it that, eh? Go back to Africa for what? <laughs> a place like Nigeria, for instance, because some people always tell me that I take, I use that term, Africa, loosely. Not that I don't know that Africa is not one, con not one country, but I use Africa because I don't only have Nigerian uh, subscribers. But most of my examples will be based on Nigeria because this is where I'm from. Now, a lot of Nigerians would think that going back to Nigeria, eh, where you won't have electricity 24 hours, where you pay heavily to you know supply yourself additional electricity by using a uh, what's it called a uh, inverter or generators and whatever other ways that you know people are trying to get electricity from. How will I go back to that? How can I go back to? You know, security, which is a very big issue for a lot of people who live in the diaspora. I walk around, I go to work 2 a.m., 1 a.m. for those who work at night shift. Not that there's no crime in the diaspora. A place like in the UK where I live, there is crime. But you, you are confident to still move around. We are not so scared that, you know, if I walk around at 1 a.m., something's going to happen to me. Most definitely, sometimes, oftentimes, let me say, something will not happen to you. You understand? And when something does happen to you, you are sure that you're going to get police to come and attend to you. You get the right services. Something harm, harmful happens to you. You get to hospital and you get treatment and they're not going to just dump you outside and allow you to just die. So, I'm not going to say that people who are so scared and terrified of going to Africa are just, you know, they don't have genuine concerns. Everybody has their own ish that they are dealing with. So, I was reflecting on that the other day but you know the other flip side of the coin is that some people have actually gone back to africa and they've done better and that is the whole point i'm trying to highlight on this video today some people have gone back to africa and they've done better than they were doing in the diaspora if you've lived in the diaspora for like 20 years 25 years things have not changed for you and you're still struggling hmm. let me tell you something i used to go to a church in nigeria where the pastor he will often say to people who are newcomers in that church that he won't tell them come back to church or as you know some pastors will say no go to god in prayers and ask god to show you where he wants you to worship i think life we need to apply that to our life to we need to ask god where do you want me to be is my glory in the uk is my glory in america is my glory in nigeria where do you want me to be god show me where i need to be because i tell you a lot of people were doing very well in nigeria other parts of Africa, they came to the abroad and, you know, like, their life just went downhill from there. Some people were in the abroad and they were struggling and things were not working for them. They were struggling, no job, no paper, everything. Relationship problem. They decide, oh, one day, they pack their load and say, hey, let me even go back. And they went back to Nigeria and suddenly it happened to someone that I know, a cousin of mine, the, hus the husband. In America, he decided to go back because he was having issues and everything. When it, this man went back to Nigeria, you will not believe it's that same man that was suffering in America. This man was suffering. He was a chim chimney. It's almost like a chimney. The way he was smoking, you should see him. You will know that, you know, his trouser is not, he doesn't, he's not up to two. But lo and behold, when he went back to Nigeria, it happened that incidentally that a friend that he went to school with was made a minister. And that's how they start giving him contracts. I'm telling you that within a year, that same man that was suffering in America, you do not recognize him anymore. He was enjoying. 
He had made it. He's built a house. He was living good. It's not for everybody. That's what I'm saying. We need to ask God, ask God for direction about life. I'm saying all this because of the incident about this video that I'm about to show you about this woman. I don't know whether it's got something to do with everything I've said so far, but how else do you explain why a middle-aged woman, not middle-aged, uh -uh, this is not middle-aged now, this is a grandmother. This is a grandmother who go into an African store and be stealing. Take a look at the video. What is two? I told him three. No, no he told you me said two. two. And I One gave is you, missing. I gave you the thing for it. One is missing right now over there. One is missing right now over there. So and I tell you, I'll give you a bag. Bag, you said no. So, let, let, so you have one in your let's bag. Let's check inside no, your bag. I have no, you no, he four. said two. No, let's check inside your bag. You, let, let's go inside. Come back inside. One is missing over there right now. You have one in your bag. Don't give me one in my bag. Trust me. Trust me. We can bet on it. Ten times, ten times. You have one in your bag. I don't have one in my bag. I said you want one. Okay. You have one in your bag. You, you have one in your bag. This is the two. I, I was going to put in the back. No, no, no. I no, was there. You said, you said yeah, two. You four. And I told you the price. You, you said you're paying, paying for two. two. You, you have one in your two. bag. Let me put in the bag for you. You said no. You have one but, in your bag. Let's see if there's something in your bag. If there's no one in bag, fine. I said you have one in your bag. I saw you taking it. I saw you. Trust me. Let's see. If there's nothing in the if bag. If you say I have one, this is it. No. I'm not going to no 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 no, 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 no. I said you have one in your bag. You have no. one in your bag. No. No, no, no. Let's search inside no. your bag. You have one I... in your bag. No, no, David, no. Let's see. If there's nothing in your bag, we are at fault. Mm hmm. Let's see. But then. Oh, please, I'm coming. It's okay. Yeah. Please. Or you want us to go to check the camera? Go check the camera. Go. Go and check the camera. But you are here. Go Let's check inside the bag. Don't no, touch my no. Bag. Don't touch my bag. Okay, look. Don't touch Give me the phone. Room. I'll call the police. If just just call the cops. Just, just, just yeah. let them check. And yeah. yeah. She don't want to do it. She, she wants two. I was standing there. She put one in the bag. Listen, it's it's not that Give me the phone. You don't let. No. Don't let them call the cops. Come on. If you. You have it. If you don't, then don't. They just let you them check. in your bag. If you took it, I'll pay for it. How about that? Just let's, let's you say you don't have it. I say you have it. I have your no, old video. Don't you stop. This is the same thing to an African store. I have the video on my phone. Castro sent it to me. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Look. It's, it's Sunday morning. You want us to call the police so that they can come and settle this? How much is it? It's not how much. It's, it's, but it's, you it's, see, bro, if he doesn't this, have it, this we can't going on several times. I saw him taking it. I saw him so taking it. So you now. Come on. It's obvious you have it. So no. Just... What are you paying for? You say you don't have it. You say you don't so have it. So what are, are you, you paying, paying for? for it? Look, this is not happening. You're not going to put that thing down and No, leave. you say you don't what have it, so don't pay it? for it. So, if... I turn to the guy. You send what to the guy? You are here, you see? If she's being... We are Africans. Okay, I, know. I, know. I don't want to get her in trouble cross. more than she, she can afford to. But since she's not going to be cooperative, I have to do what I have to do. She said I can't touch her bag. It's true, I cannot touch her bag. If she voluntarily shows us and says, okay, there, maybe this is what happened, we can work with it. But she doesn't want to do it, I'll call the police. Let's do it with the conversation. Sir, it's not, it's not working, okay? Just let her pay for it let her... And just, I mean, even if you're gonna tell her to not to come shopping anymore, it doesn't matter. Like, this is not, it's not what they ask for. No, this has been going on several times. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm so sorry. Let me just apologize. I'm just so sorry. Please, I'm sorry. I, me too. You see, you tried to embarrass me. No. Look. This is not the first time. I have an old video. We went to a cash right car market. He did the same thing. The guy sent the video see? to me. The same woman. Let, let's let's look let's no, look at the fact that huh? I'm so it's sorry. Of her. Yeah. I, I understand. I understand. No, that, no, but no, let's no, look no, at I'm the sorry. fact you that okay, you it's, know how many it, times you've done it here? We're family. How many so, times? You know? No. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. Are you gonna pay for everything that you yeah, yeah, I'm I'm sorry. Are you paying for this? Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm so sorry. Please apologize. No. Several please, times. I'm sorry. For so many years. I will not do it again, please. I'm so sorry. Please. Sorry. I beg you in the name of God. Please. I'm begging for it. Please. No, 
I understand. I understand. We get 50 cents and a piece. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know, I know. And it's, 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 it's bad, it's bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. To get what, you know? Sorry, please. Look, now let me serve you, brother. Please, I'm so sorry. Please, 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 I beg you. Please, let me serve you. Please. Please. Let me serve my coffee. Please. Because you told me you don't have it. Please, I'm sorry. Yeah. Please. I'm listen, so sorry. Please. Brother, let me serve you. Please, I'm sorry. Please. Um, listen, I won't feel right if you. Please. please. I'm I sorry. I, 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 I will not come back. Listen, you know I have video for two weeks I'm ago. So he sorry. did the same thing with the Kafra Kamaki. That's him to me, the same woman. Every time he comes here, she puts it. It's, you see, this He's going like two different bags. Whenever we check, the oil is missing. I'm sorry. Every time she's been here, we go Then to don't let her shop in here. Please, I'm sorry. When she came, I told her. And this is, this is terrible. It's not, it's not a good I'm look. Sorry. You see, she was standing here. She don't have it. I'm so sorry. It. I beg It's you. not a good look. Please, I will I never. You. Please. Why? I'm so ashamed. I'm so sorry. No, please. you are not. Because when you went to this guy's store, Cash traffic market. We have the video. Last month. He did the, the same oil. It's, you. it's you. We have the video. Okay. We have the video. Last month, you did the same thing to Cash traffic market. You see? It's not her. No. No, no, we have the video on the phone. I know. What we do here? We pay you almost five thousand dollars a month for this place. I know business, especially we, in this time. Okay, what we're doing? We're cutting fifty cents. From the cent. video, you can see that they were saying that this is not the first time she's doing it. She's done it before, and the security man was saying that she's gone to another store and also did the same thing. I'm wondering, what the hell? What is going on? What's happened? Why would a woman? This age, do something like this. He's not a young person. He's not a teenager. He's not even a young adult. This is a grandmother. Somebody who is a mother, a grandmother. It is so disgraceful. But I don't know. Why, why did she do it? Because eventually, if you see the video, she eventually paid for it. So she had money to pay for it. So is this village people at work? I don't know, guys. I really don't know how to explain it. Whether this is village people at work. Because sometimes... Hmm, I know a lot of you, when you are comfortable in the abroad, you are living your best life, you don't believe again that there's any spiritual attack. Hmm. But those of us who are spiritually inclined still knows that there's a lot of battle that we face as Africans. Whether you live abroad or not, there's a lot of spiritual battle that you face. Because I'm trying to understand it, why this woman will go into a store and go and steal. And they said this is not the first time. She's even stolen in other stores. Why? And now her face is all over the place. I saw it in Today Ed Not blog. It's been circulated all over the place that she's stealing in America. And people are saying, if you cannot stay in America, come back. But she don't have children. What is happening? How much is the palm oil stealing? Or is this a mental health problem or what? I don't know how to explain it. But, I mean, what I'm saying generally, not only specifically about this woman, is that sometimes we need to reflect and go to God in prayers about our lives to determine where is the best place for us to be. Because sometimes, eh, you can be abroad and your glory is waiting for you in Nigeria. And that's why you see some people, they are here, they will be struggling, struggling, doing everything. And nothing seems to work. It's not because of anything, or it's because they are in the wrong place. Where what God has lay, what God has planned for their life is waiting somewhere else. So, as we watch this video, I want you to reflect on it, because this is always the bane of my videos. I want you to think, God, look at this woman. What happened to her? It's not. It shouldn't happen to anyone. Least of all, an elderly woman like this. I don't know if, it, like I said, I don't know if it's a ment mental health problem, but I want you to reflect on your own life. Think properly and think deeply and pray to God, please show me where my glory is. Let me locate my glory. If my glory is not in America, if it's in Canada, let me go to Canada. If my glory is not in Canada, it's in Australia. Lead me and direct my step to Australia. If it's not in Australia, it's in Nigeria. Some people think that it's only in Obodo Ibo that there's glory. Oh, some people, their glory is in Africa. And that is what I'm trying to tell you guys. That's what I'm trying to explain to you on this video. 
Some people will go to Africa and make it big and be wondering, eh, is that not that person that was suffering abroad? So going back to as much as we are scared of it, we don't like what is going on there. The amenities are not there that will make our lives very comfortable as we are used to. But if you are here and it's from one frying pan to fire, perhaps it is better for you to go to God and ask. And if God says it is better for you to go back, pack your bags and go. Because it is only God that knows the end of the matter from the beginning. He's the one that knows the end of your life from even when you were an infant or when you were, before you were conceived. The Bible says that he knew us before we were born. I know some of you, if I quote Bible now, they say, hey, this, that, 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 that. But this is all I know. And this is what I will continue to share because this is what I know. I cannot say what I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it here today. The shame, the embarrassment that comes with things like this will not be your portion, will not be my portion in Jesus' name. God will teach us. He will direct us. He will lead us to where our favor is, to where our breakthrough is, to where our increase is, to that place that we will go to that we will excel. He will lead us and he will lead us right in Jesus' name. Just going to leave it here today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you've not yet subscribed, Please consider subscribing, support your girl, and I'll speak to you in my next one. I love you. Bye-bye.